Coming to you live above the Heineken River Deck here at Pier 17 South Street Seaport. And we have someone joining us on the program. My favorite prospect in this draft oh, brought geez. to you by Old Spice. That man right there, <laughs> Kyle Pitts, joins us on the show. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Whatever franchise you end up with is going to be so happy to have you. I cannot wait for that. But for those who don't know your work that well, how would you describe your position? A tight end, a wide receiver, a hybrid? How would you describe it? I would say hybrid. You know, the position is starting to change. Uh, nowadays, it's kind of tight ends are looking to stretch the field and be able to do everything that a receiver can do as well as an old lineman. So to be able to run routes like a receiver, block like an old lineman, and be versatile. That's something that kind of puts tight ends over the edge, and you, you kind of have to find your special game plan to make you your number one. Kyle, congratulations. Enjoy this process. I not only admire you as a football player, but your maturity off the field as well. You 6'6", ran a 4'4'40". You're a matchup nightmare. Who are some of the players in particular, tight ends and or receivers that inspired you? Uh, I'm going to go with probably like Eric Ebron, Stanley Sharp, uh, Travis Kelsey. Those are three guys that I feel like kind of have the same body type, body uh, build, and kind of have the same playing style. So I kind of like to use some of their tools and some different things that they use to get open and you know, be aware on the field in order to win their matchup so just those three guys they kind of all bring different styles to it but just to try and add all three together is something that you know try and build it as one and you know be the be the most unstoppable person on the field as we lead up to the draft i've heard your name associated with like five or six different teams it's always kind of like that <laughs> i think you should be the first non-quarterback drafted and i think you will be however jerry jones entered the chat he said he had <laughs> visions of sugar plums about having you in dallas how did that make you feel uh it, it, i mean I, I would say i don't really like to listen to all of it but at the end of the day like i you know i do hear some of it so when i did hear that it kind of was something special you know to be able to get the chance to play for the cowboys or even any team in the nfl or something special so uh i mean it's it's kind of day is coming so i feel like things are starting to get kind of more ramped up but you know Thursday night, we'll, you know, we'll see how everything, how chips fall. Kyle, I'm a diehard Lions fan, and I need to tell Jerry Jones and you, the Dallas Cowboys will never see you, because we're not letting you get <laughs> past us. Or if we do, I'm going to trade in my lifetime membership as a Lions fan. With that being <laughs> said, it's being discussed that you may go to Atlanta. What do you think about that fit, if that's where you land? Uh, I don't think it'll be bad. You know, it's two great people on the outside that I could learn from. And I feel like leading up to the season, I could kind of mirror what they're doing to see how they're going about their business and how they win on the field in order to make my game the best. And you have a, a, a vet quarterback who is a, who's going to be a Hall of Famer when it's all said and done. So that's a bunch of older guys that I can learn a lot of things from. So. I mean, if I do get a chance to go there, it'll be something special because I'll be able to learn every day from somebody new. I feel like and on the offensive side, you got Julio, really, it's a lot of mm -hmm. those, you know, two significant receivers in the NFL right now who are That'd be at the nasty. Level. Just to learn from them and get, catch a couple balls, that'd be something, that'd be, that'd be pretty crazy. Now, you're going to be in Cleveland for the draft, and... Well, I'm so excited about your game. I'm also excited about your suit. I'm excited about your haircut. <laughs> what is the plan? Like, what's the lighting of the suit going to look like? When are we going to get a haircut? Are you going to get a haircut before you get there, after you get there? What's the plan for the look? Um, I'm going with a, a regular kind of custom suit. I have some, some stuff on the inside, and I'm, I'll get a cut that day. I don't want to get a day before you. I'm supposed to, for days like that, it's like prom, kind of. I mean, you get a cut hours before <laughs> and you suit pressed and I'll be ready for what red carpet. I told you Jacoby that haircut thing is cultural. He gonna get his cut <laughs> within like three or four hours in, of in when we car. actually gonna see him. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be as crisp as possible, no question about it. Who are you gonna enjoy that moment with? Certain family members, former teammates, like, who do you want to share that moment with? And also, please acknowledge for us what you're doing with big brothers and big sisters because it's really noble. 
Uh, first, um, I'm gonna be you know enjoying the moment with my mom, dad, sister, girlfriend, uh, my trainer, uh, Coach Mullen. He's gonna be there. My old tight end, Coach Larry Scott. So those are gonna be some people that I enjoy with, you know, in the in in the time and after it. But uh, Big Brother is um, I'm just proud to partner with Old Spice and helping guys with the confidence, to, you know, to reach their full potential uh, at the NFL draft. Old Spice is part of Big Brother and Big Sister, and to put the spotlight on, you know, trying to give young people guidance and confidence to, you know, be, be, their, be their best. And on the draft, you can visit uh, Big Draft 21 to learn more. Oh, that's so dope. I'm really proud that's of you for dope. doing that. I'm so happy for that's you. Dope. Have a wonderful week. Life changing. Congratulations. Week for you. Thank you Enjoy so much it. for taking the time to join Thank us on Jalen and Jacoby. Appreciate the appreciate love. Appreciate you too. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.